Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Mr. Truck here. We're still in ATDA looking for the cool, the cool products and the things you really could use. And we're here in the Tucson booth. Tucson tire pressure monitoring system and sway control and direct link brake controllers. They have all the cool electronic products. And I'm here with an engineer named Alan. Yeah. And him and I worked on some of these projects together. And what we're talking about now, what I call a space balls. That's this rubber ball sensor that you threw and put inside your tire. You don't have to worry about pulling the valve stem or doing anything else and it reads your tire pressure and your heat so you know if the pressure you know you can go clear up to 203 pounds it beeps at you if it's going low your whatever the perimeter is set at and same way with heat tells you when you're too hot or whatever so that means you might if your tire air pressure hasn't changed and you're doing all the other stuff you may have a problem with the bearing or a brake so it saves you much time and money because it tells you in advance what's going wrong and that's what i like i like to know before it happens yeah. It's kind of like a future time machine. But anyway, Alan, tell me about this round ball, this ball sensor. Yep, this is a sensor. It's a little smaller than a ping pong ball. And uh, you just break the bead of the tire and you drop the ball in and air the tire back up and you're on your way. Cool. Um, I, I, I determined it's like, like a centromatic wheel bouncer when the BBs are rolling around. Yeah. So when you first start up, it's going around until it gets into orbit. And then a centrifugal force will there. hold that ball to that same spot. That's right. So it's not like it's wearing a tire the whole time you're driving. No. It makes a lot of sense to me. And you guys just came out with this, mm -hmm. and you're introducing it to the public here. I think we were on a show on the virtual tour of this same right. show last right. year. But so now it's available. Yep. And you, you know, it's got a monitor. Basically, it goes from here. I should let you tell the story. But it goes yeah. to a, a little box, which is nothing but a repeater. Yes. If you have a larger trailer, there's a repeater that mounts on the tongue of the trailer. And that takes the sensor's signal from the wheels and amplifies it so it reaches up to the monitor. If you have a smaller trailer, you don't need to have the repeater. Cool. And the monitor shows you each tire, the pressure, and it goes through a series of pressure temperature, pressure, temperature, and voltage. Right. So you know how much juice is going in if you got a problem with batteries. It has all this diagnostics right. on, which is so cool. And there's three configuration settings. Each can hold 10 sensors. So wow. you can put it in your truck, you can put it on your trailer, and then you have three different configurations for 10, so actually 30 sensors can be added to that. And that's all in the monitor. Yep. And so then you can take the monitor to three different trailers. Right. Or you hook yeah. a different tra trailer up, it'll pick up the serial number of the new sensor, and it'll switch to that configuration. Well, I like this automatic. I like this, man. You don't have to do yeah. anything. You just go, go, go. Right. Mm -hmm. And this would, would save so much time because you know I, I go to I went to 14 ply tires so I got some $180 tires now or more mm -hmm. and I don't want to lose them and I used to like a horse trailer I used to lose a fender and then yeah. the clearance lights and on my tilt trader is had heavy duty fenders but it would bend them up and clear up underneath and I'd have to take hammers and chisels and everything else so I'd get a spare tire back on yep so it used to be so yep. much work now I don't do anything it's just great and they they weigh less than an ounce so hey, it less doesn't, than an ounce. doesn't affect your tire balance at all yeah it'll work with bead balancing beads too really yep so the guy over here is selling that stuff, so those will roll around. This will roll around separate from that, and yeah, it, won't it, it, it won't bother it. won't bother it, Wow. Well, that's mm -hmm. good to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is, uh, so all you, you, you know, the thing different is you have to have somebody break the tire down, open the bead up so you can stick it in there. You see that in my video. Right. If you go to Mr. Truck, go to MrTruck.com, MrTrader.com, right across the top, it will cl click you right to the whole story in the video. Yeah. Which is and, really good. And battery life, it's around five years for average use. Wow. Uh, it has a motion sensor in there, so when it's not moving, it shuts down. So it's That's not using good, the battery. People will ask that. Does it have to change batteries? That's very good. So right. it does save the battery life of it. That's really good. Yeah. And then once it starts moving, it comes back to life and it starts transmitting again. Yeah. And these kick on pretty fast. My other sensors, sometimes you got to go a few hundred feet for it to kick on. Right. These happen pretty quickly. Yeah. Which yeah, is they good. Do. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. I've got them. You know, I've got six test traders and all the ones with the brakes have your device on them. Mm -hmm. And we've done it with the, the valve stem that goes inside the wheel. And we've done it with the bands, which works really well for, you know, those Alcoa wheels with really tiny valve stems. Mm -hmm. Or dually. Sometimes it's hard to reach all the the spigots and you don't have to mess with the valve stems that way right so all your systems are really cool and how yeah. they'll work but I, you know to me it's such a big important thing we're where we are we're in tennessee yeah so i don't know how hot it gets here but i know in texas florida new mexico arizona you know they're 120 degrees they think is lovely yeah. and how good i mean that's got to be horrible on tires yeah you're over inflating them from the heat you're doing all this stuff to them and you know i i, I hate changing tires yeah <laughs> especially when it's hot 
Well, this is cool. Has the show been good for you here at the NATDA? Yeah, yeah. Good, good attendance. Oh, so great. I'm, I'm doing yeah. the NATDA hat. You know, they gave me yeah, a new hat. That's good. <laughs> you got that for free, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Don't go away, Mr. Chuck.tv. We'll be right back. Okay, on the monitor here, it displays up to 10 sensors and it rotates through six and then it goes to four. It does the pressure and then it does the temperature. And then if you do use the repeater, it'll show your trailer battery voltage as well. This cool. obviously isn't hooked up to any sensors, so the readings are just for display purposes. Yeah, yeah now there was the battery. You yeah. did see the battery at 12 volts there because yeah. it's hooked to the power supply, so. Well, that's cool. So then you go to temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit and you got, uh, and uh, pressure, and pounds PSI of pressure, and what's the other one? Bar. Bar, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. And then... And, and if it goes red, oh, yeah, if there's a problem, and right now the volume is turned down, it does have an audible beep uh, if you have any of the uh, faults indicated in red. Oh, that's good. It tells you what's going on and what to look for. That's yep. cool. And then, let's see, we got the direct link. We didn't talk about a whole lot other than the fact that it's a brake controller. Yep, and it plugs into the OBD port of your tow vehicle. Yeah. And that's what reads the amount of braking that the driver's doing. So then it puts a, a proportional signal to the trailer brakes based on the network information, not based on an accelerometer. Awesome. And what and else is there? The nice thing about it is we draw power from the OBD port and from the tra trailer connector. And so that means we can diagnose things. Say that you lost power on your black wire. Um, is this the black wire here? Trailer harness power. Okay, so that you lost power on your black wire, it'll tell you black wire voltage low. Oh. Be, because it's getting it's powered by the OBD. See, so it can That's diagnose good. that. Now ground is also a problem on some controllers. So if you got a bad ground, it'll tell you your ground is open. Oh wow, awesome. There. Oh yeah, there's those those bands. Yep. There's a ball and the bands and whatever that thing yeah, is. Yeah, these are the bands you were you were referring to. And then your transmitter. Yeah. Yep, that's that. And then there's the there's the ball, a little rubber coated, Yeah. all sealed. How long is the warranty on the balls? Two years. Two years. But and the, then this is a sway control. If we were talking about sway control, yep. that box does it all. Big brain. Yep, the red dot goes on the center line. Here's your five wires. You've got power, ground, blue wire for your brake controller, and then cool. left and right, pink and purple. Awesome. With the LED indicator, shows you green, everything's good. If something's blinking oh, yeah. red, it'll tell you you got a short on left or right side or anything else that might be wrong with it. That's so awesome for sway control. People really got to watch that video to understand it because it's incredible. Mm-hmm. You can always call me for information or call you. Or sure. Go to the Tucson site, which Mr. is... MrTruck.com. Yes, MrTruck.com. Selling on that. That's true. We're selling these these balls and everything there, and that, mm -hmm. uh, and yours is uh, TucsonRVBrakes.com? Right. Cool. Mm -hmm. So you got yep. plenty of homework now. You can go check it all out and see what happens. So right. thanks for watching.